I'm Jo Salter and I want to talk to you about t-shirts. T-shirts are such a versatile item and most of us wear them. They can cost from tiny amounts up to hundreds of pounds. There are loads and loads of them in the world and they're worn in a variety of ways. Fashion, comfort, sport and also for advertising and marketing. But how often do we actually stop and think about how our t-shirt was made and what impact it's had on the planet and the people who were involved in making it. Most of these issues are out of sight, out of mind. Brands don't want us asking too many questions because we might not like what we hear. So do you know what your t-shirt is made out of? You can always check the label to find out. Most t-shirts are made from cotton, sometimes with something like polyester added. Cotton is a natural fibre grown as a plant, but mass production has turned it into something that's harming the planet through use of harmful pesticides, genetic modification and very high water requirements. Cotton doesn't grow in the UK. Most of it is grown in the USA or Asia, so it has to be transported from the other side of the world. So how is the cotton crop grown? Well, the people who grow cotton tend to get paid very little for their crop, as we all want clothes to be as cheap as possible. You'll have heard of the problems with farmer suicides in India and other countries. Despair at not earning enough to feed their families caused them to take their own lives. Farmers are taken advantage of too, pressured into buying pesticides and genetically modified seeds that puts them into debt. There's also health issues, of course, from prolonged exposure to some pretty nasty chemical pesticides. The next step is to turn the cotton fibre that's been farmed into fabric and then into t-shirts. Most t-shirts are made in the Far East, China, Bangladesh, India. We've all heard stories about how garment workers are treated and paid, mostly not good. Long hours, low pay and often unsafe working conditions. In many cases, garment workers migrate from rural areas to cities for work and then they're at the mercy of their factory owners who keep wages low so that they can fulfil low price contracts. That's where organisations like Labour Behind the Label and Fashion Revolution have been doing great work to push for change. When the t-shirts are ready, they then take a journey across the world. It's important to remember that any cotton t-shirt has to take this journey as we don't grow cotton in the UK. A t-shirt that says made in the UK is misleading you and probably just means it was sewn or printed here. And when we don't want our t-shirt anymore, what happens to it then? So you'll see from this quick whiz through the creation of a t-shirt how many areas there are for negative impacts on farmers, garment makers and the environment. At Where Does It Come From? we're working on projects to do something about this. T-shirts with positive impacts across people and planet. This can be through taking existing waste t-shirts and giving them another life or through our projects with social enterprise partners that empower cotton farmers and garment workers whilst introducing ecological farming and planet-friendly processes. You can find out more on our website. And if you want to know more, then please just get in touch with us.